Hey Dad, how's everything going? Uh, I just started a new project and I wanted to show you my project because it kind of reminded me of you when you used to have your um, camper and went out to California and all that. Now, this may be quite a bit different, but uh, it just reminded me of you. Um, when I sell this house and I'm going to be looking to buy another house. I'm going to have some time where I'm not going to be with the house. So uh, this is kind of what I came up with after doing some research. And I'm excited about it. And the excitement may wear off. But anyway, here it is. All right, so here's, here's my car. And I'm not sure if you've ever heard of stealth camping before. But this is what my car looks like from the outside. And you may be able to see it because it's still daytime out. But if you get close enough in here, you'll see that uh, I have some black curtains that are blocking the entire back section of the car. I still got to set it up in the wind little windows here. But this is my camper travel vehicle. Great on gas mileage. It's a Prius. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to pause it because I forgot to bring out my keys to unlock it. Hold on. All right. I'm back again. And, um, I got this off a YouTube video, someone who did this, and he called it Hotel Prius. So this is my Hotel Prius. Open up the trunk. And right here on one side, I got my sleeping area with a sleeping bag. And I got uh, underneath the comforter, I got a, uh, let's see if I can, I got it covered up pretty well, but I got a foam piece of foam and I may actually also get a blow-up mattress to a small blow-up mattress to put on top of the foam if I need something that's a little more comfortable and in the back seat there I have my shirts hanging up and uh, this here is a bag that I use for my hiking and hashing it's got uh, hiking shoes and clothes in there this is a bag for the gym part of the thing I'm going to be probably try doing is having a gym membership so that I can take showers so this will be the bag I take in that has my change of clothes after I take a shower in the morning before I go to work and then I got my big suitcase down here that's got all the rest of my clean clothes in it got a couple of bins here this is just an emergency kit if I need to dig a hole um, to go number two there's a shovel and some toilet paper in there um, this has got just some miscellaneous stuff in there I'm still working on filling these things up uh, I also have a setup that if for some reason I can't get to a shower I can use um, baby wipes and get clean with baby wipes and I can also get some water and uh, use that for uh, wash myself down but those are going to be kind of last resorts if I just don't get in a shower okay so this on this side of the car down here we have this is my dirty clothes and so once that gets full I can pull this out and uh, take it and get my clothes cleaned uh, down underneath here this is going to be for something what is it car essentials I haven't filled that up with anything yet a lot of these ideas came from the video I saw on YouTube but and then on the other side of the car of course this side has the the mattress and everything underneath there I have two more bins one's gonna be a pantry bin and the other one's called a basement and inside the big basement one there we just put stuff that I don't need right away that I may be using Later in the year, like when it gets cold, I can put some cold clothes in, or, uh, you know, long underwear and stuff like that. So the front seat's pretty much empty except for the floorboard because, again, the idea is to make it look like it's just a, an empty car and not 
a car that someone's sleeping in. And uh, this is just a miscellaneous bin. And this one I've started to fill up with stuff, scissors, flashlight, earplugs, depending on where I'm sleeping. Uh, there are people that actually sleep in Walmart parking lots, and uh, but because it, it's open 24 hours, you got doors opening and closing, and that kind of stuff can wake you up, so got earplugs for that. And this I still have to fill up as well, but it's a, a snack box, so I can have snacks on hand close by while I'm driving if I need it. Anyway, it's still a work in progress, and uh, I've only slept one night so far in a Walmart parking lot, and I didn't have the curtains I have up now. The curtains I had kept wanting to fall down, and it was a rough night. Couldn't really sleep, so I know it's going to get uh, take some getting used to, but the idea is when I'm searching for my second house, um, I can stay in here and have somewhere to sleep and not have to work. I have friends and stuff that have already offered me a place to sleep to, so I can do that as well. But I'm kind of excited about this right now. If, if I ever get to a point where I can actually get used to it and uh, make it almost like more of a lifestyle thing, every month that I stay in the car without purchasing another house, I'll, I'll probably save at least $500 a month. So from the financial aspect, um, I'm really excited about it. Uh, if I didn't have a job that tied me down, that I could do stuff on the road, I could technically be driving all over the country and, you know, sleeping wherever. So anyway, I'm excited about it. And this project just kind of reminded me of you with uh, your camper. So I wanted to share that with you. Love you, Dad.